Alrighty, welcome to uh, no, uh, November 1st. November, Thanksgiving's like three weeks from now. I mean, Christmas is just over um, two more, just under two months. Oof. Day 50, the big 5 0. Uh, we've been out a long time. Doesn't feel like it though. Feels like it's just been a short little while. So. I got dinner in the oven, so I got the fan over there. It's kind of a funny, almost rubbery smell coming off of it, but lasagna. Didn't notice that last time, so the timer will probably go off here before I finish this video. But um, yeah, they're they're pushing this offer, uh, both the company and the union. It's not a bad deal. A lot of people are hung up. I shouldn't say hung up. A lot of people want the pension. They think there could be more on the retirement side, but we'd get pretty good as it is. And there's there's a lot of emotion going on again. Uh, hopefully cooler heads will prevail. We had some issues last vote, it sounds like, some altercations. Let's not get into that, people. Um, where was I going with that? Just totally lost my train of thought. So I uh, went out on the picket lines last night, same spot as when I did that one update out there. It was pretty cool. There were, what, six of us total, and I knew four of the people out there, and the fifth guy was the brother of one of the women I work with, so we had a good time last night. Actually, somebody had dropped off a pizza, and nobody had touched it. I think it probably showed up little before I got there and uh, so like chicken onion pineapple but it had gotten cold and the one guy took a piece and he says yeah it's not very good it needs to be it needs to be warmer but no microwave out there but we got a burn barrel with a lid so just put the whole box right on top of the burn barrel for a little bit had a couple pieces of that. It was pretty good. Onions sure gave me heart heartburn, though. But, um, it rained. It was wet. A little breezy. Uh, I didn't forgot completely spaced taking my rain gear. But uh, wore the new fancy insulated jeans that I bought. I didn't take this out. I took my heavy winter coat. Had my light up hat. Had my fancy umbrella. It's still. I guess it's probably dry. Close it up now. Had, had this guy out there in that mode. So, no, it was pretty good. We actually made a, a pact. If this contract does not pass this go around, and we have decided that the lot of us will meet back at that same location next Thursday for another strike duty. And we're going to do a little potluck. So, oop, turn. I don't like how sensitive the light is on the bottom. You just touch the air, the little button there. So, but, uh, nope, this came in handy. there where it'll probably fall so now i logged into a zoom meeting yesterday at five i've got a minute before the timer goes off um a lot of emotions going on it's i would say it's still leaning more towards rejection but that's just the people that called in um you gotta read that you know with a fine grain of salt because uh the people that are worked up and don't want this are a little more adamant about that. And the side that thinks this is a good contract seems to be more reserved and you're not going to hear from them as much. So I think if this, whatever the vote is, whichever way it goes, it's going to be close to the 50%. You know, we rejected by 64 last time, 90, 95, 96% the first time. So we brought it way down. I think this time it's going to be pretty close. So, 
Be right back. Don't eat my dinner. Alrighty, it could use just a couple more minutes, but turn the heat off, let it just stew in its own juices for a little bit. So, yeah, big hang up is the pension, the retirement, uh, more time off, the work-life balance, as they call it. But like our union president is saying, and I've been kind of thinking this as well, you know, we're gonna. We got four four years. We're going to be doing this again. We can be fighting for other things to improve. So, but uh, I mean, we did gain an extra holiday, a floating holiday. I know some folks they wanted to observe the holidays throughout the year. We bundle those all up and observe them between Christmas and New Year's, so we have a nice long holiday break. They want to keep that plus have more days off, but we still got to build airplanes. And there's a certain number of man hours per airplane, and they start getting more days off, and it throws that off. And I know I'm starting to sound like senior executive, but after 17 years in this company and watching and learning, you pick things up. So uh, I know they wanted to, they were really upset about not improving the progression steps. It takes us six years, 50 cents every twi you know, every six months, you get 50 cents, and then six years you get a big jump. They wanna to try to either improve that monetary bump or shorten that distance. And the company just says, nope, we're not willing to budge on that at all. So basically they were only gonna give us the pay. And I mean, it, it's not just the pay. That's why I brought the tablet out here. And pay was the big thing. That was kind of the number one. Uh, you know, the ratification bonus. They didn't change the number, they just combined them. It was a $7,000 bonus before and $5,000 into your 401k. Now they combine it into $12,000 and you can choose how you want to use that. All of it into your paycheck, all of it into your 401k or a percentage of each. So cost of living has not changed. That's kind of another point of contention. A lot of people, we do live in an expensive area. They want us to reevaluate the formula to get us more, but that's a fight for another time, I think. Uh, shift differential. I thought I was making 75 cents for being on second shift, but it says it's a dollar and it's going up to a dollar 25. Uh, third shift goes up from 10 cents an hour to 30 cents. The amp has been reinstated. I'm not real thrilled about that, but but guaranteed minimum payout of four percent. Uh, Four-year agreement. It'll be effective retroactive September 13th, and then September 7th of 2028 is when it'll expire if we ratify this one. So workforce. Strength and workforce language. I'm not going to go through all of this. Da, 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 da. I don't like the format, how this side swipe, not scroll up and down. Bereavement leave. They've added aunts, uncles, brothers in law, sister in laws. They finally, here just in the last couple of years, recognized grandparents. Before it was just mom and dad and siblings nobody else the grievance and arbitration retirement security so this so we get they're matching a hundred percent up to eight percent that I put in it was 75 percent when I hired in it was 50 percent so we've gone up a little bit on that and then they're adding a four percent special company retirement contribution but that includes overtime. I didn't catch that until just a little bit ago. So it'd be nice on the 401k if they would include your overtime as well, because that's just based off your straight pay, that 8%. But 
The four percent is based off your overtime as well. So okay, and then bumping employee retirement plan, which is the pension, remains frozen. The improvement is improvement is increasing the multiplier to one hundred and five dollars per month. It was ninety five for every year of service for those currently eligible for this benefit. <clears throat> Count my blessings. I've got just shy of nine years that I'm eligible for. Uh, so lump sum payment option will be available. A lump sum payment option. Is this part of the retirement? Okay, a retirement security. A retirement medical. Preserve current retirement medical benefits for our members. Progression. Negotiated one set of progression in a career. So that is an improvement. It used to be, you know, you got four years with the company, it takes six years to max out hour for an hourly, and you decide to take another job, your progression would start over at zero. So then you'd have to work another six years before you got to your max pay, even though you got a new pay grade. So now it's just one per contract. It says 1,500 members will Zoom to max on day one. I don't quite know what that means. Nearly 2,000 members will combine steps earned in lower labor grades, bringing them closer to max pay. So I'm wondering if they're not talking, if you've been with the company for more than six years and you're still in the step progressions, if they're just going to bump you all the way up then. Members no longer need to hold back from upgrades waiting for their sixth year. Overtime. Uh, members can choose to work three consecutive weekends before management can exclude them. Members can choose to work 160 overtime hours in a budget quarter before management can exclude them. Man, members can't be designated for weekend overtime when they have previously scheduled vacation, bereavement, yada, 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 for weekend overtime. So we can no longer be forced to do two consecutive weekends. That was the rule before. They could do two in a row, take a third one off. And if you're on mandatory, you get to do two more in a row, take a third one off. Last time I was on high-end designated overtime, I would do three in a row, take the fourth one off, another three, plus the fourth one off, plus do tens during the week, and that would get me to that 160, and then for the rest of the quarter, which was about five weeks, I didn't have to worry about weekend overtime, so I may get two weekends off, but now they can no longer do more than one. Now you can volunteer for the second and third, but they can't designate you for more than one, so... Uh, health care costs shall cap for medical plans reduced from 16 to 15 percent. Increased life insurance benefit from 32,000 to 50,000. Reduce annual prescription drug out of pocket maximum. So, I mean, there's some improvements. A lot of people are saying there's nothing. There was one guy in the Zoom meeting that says nothing was improved in this contract at all. Yeah, they've done a bit. You just got to look for it. So, floating holiday added every January 1st. Can be used any day of the year with five day approval from management. There's another thing vacation accrual. We no longer have to wait the entire year till our anniversary date to see the vacation that we earned. We get to use it as we accrue it. So that will give people in their first year the option to have some vacation. That's always been a, a tough point with when you hire in that first year, you have no time off. I think they would forward you your 40 hours of sick, but that would mean your second year, you got no sick time. You were only living on vacation time. So, so I mean, there's improvements. It could be better. Yes, it could always be better. But again, we get to do this again in four years. You can fight for more. 
but people aren't seeing to want to get that. There was one guy that called in and he says, this is a garbage contract. You guys aren't doing anything. I'm going to do everything in my power to get rid of the union leadership. And then the union president says, well, I beg to differ. We've done this, that, this, you know, pensions. And there's lots of companies that still have pensions. He says, yes, but it's getting smaller and smaller every year. And they don't get them back when they lose them. Oh, they've reinstated a whole bunch of companies. I, I know it, I know it. And, well, I beg to differ. He says, well, I disagree. Hung up. So... A lot of emotions. That's going to be interesting. Monday's the vote. Today's Friday. Uh, I won't say which way I'm going to vote. You can probably figure, but I don't think it's a bad deal. Uh, I know other people are not in the situation that I'm in. They got more people dependent on them, and you know, not everybody bought a luxurious house such as this. You know what? 14 years ago. You know, geez, what I paid for this house, that's almost not even a down payment for what you have to get into now. Zillow and those places claim that this little tiny 800 square foot house is worth $525,000. I only paid one seventy dollars for it. So, I don't see it being worth that much, but... Prices have just shot up. We do live in an expensive area. Oh, you can sell that and get all the equity and go buy a new house. Yeah, but I ain't going to be able to afford anything. What I could sell this place for doesn't get you crap now. If I wanted to upgrade, I can't even downgrade from this. So, it's all relative. AOG premium went from 2 to $3 an hour. That was the other thing, lead pay, they were trying to get that bumped up. It's $2 an hour more. They were trying to get five. They figured out oh, the company will come back and maybe we could get three, three and a half. But the company says, nope, we're not budging on that at all. Which, I think they could bump that up. Team leads, good ones, do a lot. That really help the, the, the crews, so entice them. But there's some that don't do a whole lot, so but entice them to be more engaged and they are helping the managers quite a bit. So, yeah, security clearance, $2 for secret, three for top secret, $4 for SSBI, SCI, polygraph, special access, and you got uh, safety, So I got oh, joint programs, that's our training, and safety focal improvements. It's actually what I am. Was a safety coordinator, but stepped down. I'll have to dig through that a little bit more. Machinist Institute, looks like that's the last page. No, well, there are improvements. The people that are saying that this is absolutely garbage, they're, I, yeah. They're just upset that we're not getting the pension. You ain't getting the pension. Sorry. We did talk that last night out on the line with a couple of different people. And pretty much everybody out there is in agreement. Yeah, it'd be great, but 401k is the way to go. Plus, we were talking. What if the company were to go under? What if they had to file for bankruptcy? What happens to the pension then? Poof. Nothing. Everybody's so focused on, oh, it's just it's dependent on the on the stock market and that can crash at any time. Nothing's guaranteed. Diversify. You don't have to put it all in the stock market. I have a little bit of stock that I bought online here. It's about ten grand over the years. I have an investment company, I can't remember the name of them, Fundrise. I think it is. It's a crowdfunding for property management or property investing. So if I move forward, the camera brightens up. If I back up, it gets a little darker. Huh? So I've got money going into that every two weeks, and I haven't stopped that even though we've been on strike. Plus my 401k, I do have money going into company stock. 
I do own company stock through my little online deal, but my average price for that, I paid like $110. So it's gotta drop a lot more before I lose money on that. Yeah, it was nice when it was up in the $400 range. Now what are we at, $150, $160? I didn't look the last few days, but you just gotta play the game. Hope and, hope and pray. So, alrighty, 20 minutes of me rambling. I don't know what other, they are doing another Zoom meeting tomorrow at noon. I did sign up for it. See, uh, see what people are saying. It's gonna be close. We need 50% plus one to pass. But that also means if we get 50% minus one, it doesn't pass. So I think it's gonna be pretty close to 50%. A lot of people are out there saying, oh, it's gonna pass again by 90 some percent or fail by 90 some percent. And, uh, nope, but like like the union is saying, like the company is saying, I mean, this is, this is good. Lock in what we got, stew on it for four years and then phew, get to do it again. At least we don't have to wait another 16 years for it. Alrighty, I haven't done jack squat today. Got home late last night from picket duty. I was cold, I've been chilled all day. I did go to a grocery store run, restock. Just in case we go back to work, I'll probably go back on Wednesday. So I got the snacky stuff, the stuff in the packages that I can throw in for, for lunch, for, for munching on. But, no sandwich makings or anything, but if we do go back, at least I'm set there. But uh, yeah, Monday go out and vote. Tuesday is the election day. Hopefully things go smoothly there. Don't wake up to riots on Wednesday. And uh, it is what it is. See where we're going. Get this lasagna out before it overcooks in that oven. And uh, y'all enjoy your night. Probably see you tomorrow.